Number nine, write the ionic equation for the dissolution and the KSP expression for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. And then we have LaF3. So in this case, we first have to write an ionic equation to get to the KSP expression. Now, keep in mind that they did tell us that these are slightly soluble compounds. Slightly soluble means that at equilibrium, only a little bit of this compound is going to break down into its ions. But if a little bit breaks down, we still have to write the equation. But that means that generally, the starting compound is a solid. So we have La, F3, breaks down, dissolves, that's what dissolution is, it's dissolving, into its two ions. But what are the ions? Well, this is going all the way back to like Gen Chem 1, where we took a ionic compound and, you know, split them to, found, to find the ions. Where is the split? Well, there's only two elements here, so the split has to be, right, between them, right? We have La and then F. So La plus F. But now remember, they're forming their ions, so I need to find a charge in the upper right-hand corner. Well, we could do the crisscross method. Remember that? I mean, this is going all the way back. There was one La for every three fluorines. This one crisscrosses up to fluorine, telling me that fluorine was a negative one charge. And this three crisscrosses up, telling me that La was a plus three. And those are your um, charges. So you could say plus three, you could say three plus, doesn't really matter. And then for fluorine, you could say just minus, you could say minus one. I guess I'll just put the minus here. Now, since they're charges, they're going to be aqueous. So AQ, AQ, AQ. And then this was the slightly soluble compound that was a solid. We're almost done. We have to make sure that it's balanced. There was one La, so there's one La here, but there's three fluorines. So I have to come over here and say that I have three F minuses. And now this is the proper balanced ionic equation. From here, we're going to find the KSP expression. KXP expression is just very simple. It's this one right here. It's just the concentration of the products because the reactants are always going to be solids. And remember, no solids or liquids allowed in a K expression. So I just focus on the two products. So KSP would be equal to the concentration of La3 plus and the fluorine. So I have La. 3 plus times the fluorine. Remember, when you're doing a KSP expression, these two are being multiplied, not added, as in the balanced equation. But now, one last thing is that with KSP expressions, just make sure that you have to raise them to their coefficients. There was only one La, so I could raise it to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. But for the fluorine, there was three fluorines. So you have to raise that to the third. And now that is the final KSP expression. And there you go, guys. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, love helping you guys out. I hope you're having a great day out there. And yeah, let's keep studying hard, all right? I'm slowly losing my voice. But we got to keep going on. Let's keep working. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.